Thank you. The Arctic blast made work particularly difficult for firefighters in one Chicago neighborhood. Yeah, early this morning, it was fire and ice in Roseland. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joining us there with the latest. Hey, Mike. Hi, this fire broke out before dawn. As I step out of the way right now, we push in with the camera. You can see by the time firefighters were able to put it out, much of the back of the home and the roof gone. Ice house, that may be the best way to describe this Roseland home several hours after it was gutted by fire and encased in ice. Bless. That's all I can say, bless. Sonia Riddle feels blessed because her parents are alive. She says thanks to her nephew. It was pitch dark, I couldn't see anything. But he still managed to get both of his grandparents out of their burning house. God had my back, you know, and I just made it out of it. I got him out of there. I made it out of there safe. You know, we lost everything we had. You know, but we still got our life. Thomas doesn't think of himself as a hero, but his grandparents seem to think otherwise. Uh, what did your grandparents say after you got them out? Um, they love me. His grandparents made it out without shoes, but escaped the cold by huddling in a van. There was no escape for Darwin Bowens, who calls the viaduct at Oakley and Kinsey home. It was real cold. I'm talking about real cold. I had to sleep under like eight blankets last night. But he still doesn't plan to come in from the cold. Are you worried that you might freeze to death out here? No, I've been surviving out here for years. Courtney Briggs missed her bus, so she was forced to wait for the next one. About seven minutes. How long has it felt like you've been waiting? 20. Just that cold, huh? Just that cold. Getting on the bus is a very popular activity in this cold. Just ask the driver. You're like the saving grace. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Back here live now at the scene of the fire. So far, there's no word on what caused the fire. The good news to report, though, no injuries caused by this fire. Reporting live on East 100, second place in Roseland, Mike Puccinelli, CBS T News. Aaron, Lionel. All right, Mike, thank you.